I don't know who needs to hear this, but you really need to back up your computer files. And I'm going to show you a very simple and affordable way to do this. And then I'm going to show you a slightly more complex, but still very simple workflow that I use that's worked great for me as a small business owner and video content creator. I remember back in middle school and high school, using computers for schoolwork was still relatively novel. I'm dating myself now. For whatever reason, they wanted you to write your rough draft with paper and pencil, and then Ding. when it was time to make your nice polished final copy, you'd open up Microsoft Word, and you would control S, you would save like every two minutes. Teachers stress this because you never know when your computer might just freeze up or crash and you'd lose everything. And that would happen. Computers sucked back then. I remember typing a paragraph and feeling anxious that for whatever reason, it would all just vanish any minute. Software has since rolled out auto update features and a lot of the work we do is on the cloud. Like Google Docs records and saves every keystroke to their servers in real time. So for most of us, crash anxiety is a thing of the past, but I fear this may have led to us letting our guard down a little too much. I've met several people who are utterly unprepared for the still very real possibility that they could lose everything if something happens to their computer, whether it's a hard drive failure, ransomware, or other malicious activity, or user error. Maybe you accidentally deleted something that you shouldn't have it's still really important to have some sort of backup plan in place. And a key component of my backup plan is Backblaze. Backblaze is a service that continually backs up all of your computer files to a secure server. And when I say all of your files, I mean all of your files. For one flat fee, I believe it's $99 a year, you can back up everything on your computer and your external hard drives. I have a 12 terabyte external hard drive hooked up to my computer right now where I archive closed projects and all of that is getting backed up to Backblaze. If anything happens, if that external hard drive explodes or I get a ransomware attack or I accidentally delete something, I have 30 day version history that I can go back, search through, find the files that I want to restore and download them again to my computer. They even have a feature where they'll send you a external hard drive with all of your files if you want. It's an additional cost. Uh, the only downside of Backblaze is it is per device. I can have multiple hard drives hooked up to one computer, but if I had a desktop and a laptop, I would need to purchase a separate uh, license for each computer that I use. There are other companies out there with similar features. Crash Plan is one that I believe allows you to back up multiple devices depending on the plan you pay for. But Backblaze is the service that I've been using and I'm really pleased with it. I think it's priced fairly and it's really easy to set up. You just download their app on your computer, select which folders and hard drives you want to back up and let it go to work. But Backblaze is not the only thing I use in my data management workflow. It's a good rule of thumb to have not just one or two, but three copies of your file. One on your main computer, one up in the cloud, and another on an external hard drive. That way, in case anything does go wrong in any of these locations, you still have two safety touch points that you can rely on while you get the other one back up and running. You still have a backup of your backup and you still have a little peace of mind. Now the next part is going to go a little beyond the scope of simply backing up your files. So if you want to run, that's fine. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Otherwise, allow me to give you a little tour of my little data management workflow. Before we dig in, it's important to note that there are two main different types of hard drives. There are HDDs, hard disk drives, with moving pieces and your data gets scratched into a little disk. I'm explaining this horribly. And then there's SSDs, or solid state drives, or flash drives. Now, solid state drives are a lot less prone to mechanical failure because there are no mechanics. This hard disk drive has moving pieces, so if I drop this, I'm in trouble. Whereas this guy has no moving parts, it's a, a lot more robust. And data transfer speeds are a lot faster on solid state drives. And because it is a lot faster, I will keep my live projects on this solid state drive. 
I have my software on my main computer. I try to keep that pretty clean and just limited to the actual applications, Photoshop, Final Cut, what have you. Uh, but the files themselves and the video recordings, the things that I'm working with, I will put on an external hard drive, otherwise it will clutter up my main computer really fast. Uh, so I run that off of the SSD. There's no stuttering, it's that fast. Um, and then when I am done, when this video is edited and uploaded to YouTube, in about a month or so, I will probably move all of the closed projects to another hard drive I have under my desk, and this is an HDD, a hard disk drive. Uh, I think this is a 12 terabyte drive that I paid like 200 bucks for. It was very economical, and I'm not constantly like pulling files up and down from here so I don't really need to worry about the speed but it still is a nice place to store and archive my projects and then everything my main computer my solid state drive and my archive hard drive all get backed up to that place so there you go just a quick little peek at a data management workflow that i've designed over the years that works pretty well uh meets my needs as a small business owner and video content creator somebody who works with larger files and if you're anything like me maybe it will work well for you too whatever you do put something in place to keep yourself safe because you never know when disaster might strike my name is David Steininger, your self-employment sidekick. If there's anything else I can do to help you navigate your self-employment journey, feel free to reach out to me. Book a call on my website, selfemploymentsidekick.com. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.